Hey everyone, Baboon King here and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved and how's about today? Mine has been really really good and yeah, so welcome back to Ark guys and um, I've been waiting for the update to come along but it has not yet. It's the update where the, you get die wolves and that kind of stuff and a big frog and a snow biomes and a swamp biomes and hello. Greetings Mr. Trailer White. Man, these things are so cool. Anyways, um, yeah, so, <laughs> how's everybody's day? Must have been really good. Um, i watching a little bit of rugby and enjoying the day. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, I've been waiting the whole day for the update, and that never happened. So, um, I ran out of things to do, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do some stuff, you know? Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for all of your support on the ARC videos. You guys are really, really awesome. If you do not mind, go ahead and go away, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe and all that kind of stuff because I know you guys really want to and you guys are really awesome for doing so, so I don't need to tell you guys twice, you guys know what to do. Anyways, one of my subscribers have been keep, keep on telling me that I have to do something with the raft and I thought to myself, why not do that today? So let's go ahead and uh, jump up on here and... Did it just show something? Hmm, raft. Alright. Anyways, um, he wanted me to build a plot. Like a little plot kind of thing here. Um, yeah. You cannot do that. Unfortunately. I know you, you asked me to do that, but... As you can see, I cannot do that. Unfortunately, so sorry my friend, I cannot add a farm crop plot onto the raft. And there's no other way for me to do that, so... Yeah, and you guys are probably wondering what all these things are for. Well, we are going to do something which I completely forgot about it in the last episode. Now, in the last episode, we went ahead and we tamed the Paraser. I think that's its name. Paraser. Paraserathrium. I uh, cannot pronounce that name. That guy over there. Yeah, this one. Yoda. I went ahead and called this one Yoda. So, what we're going to do is there is... Where the hell... The hell did you guys just see that? Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and plop these things down. So, um, you guys probably seen that the uh, there is a few things that I missed in the previous episode, which we are going to take a look at today. Uh, nope, wrong one. Over here, yes. And we can go ahead and plop these seeds in here, like a thumb, and. Let me just quickly fertilize this thing because I've been checking it and it's dropping like mad. Okay, there we go. Alright, so, um, there is something that I have missed in the previous episode. It's with the Parasa. Um, I went ahead and called my Yoda. I think I did mention that. Um, yeah, there is a buildable, buildable, a buildable platform saddle which you get for this um, thing, creature. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yes. So, um, I went ahead and got all the materials ready for us so we can take a look at it over here. Go to saddles. Actually, let me show you guys. It's in here. Where is it? Where is it? It's the normal saddle. All right. Now, if you um, scroll down, just before the flak armor, you get the parasol platform over here. And you can only craft that smithy, but you require the parasol saddle itself. And over here it is. Let's go ahead and craft this thing up. Because there is a, quite a few things different about this. Um, first of all, you do get the Bronto Saddle. Which is this one over here. Which is a buildable platform. And the difference between the two is... On the Bronto, you can add 50 items. 50 things on the structure. And on this one, I think it's only 32. But I think they changed this one to 64. Not too sure. So you guys can correct me in the comment section down below. But this is the Pacer Paraser. I'm going to call it Pacer. <laughs> um, the Paraser Platform Buildable. And what I was thinking is, let's go ahead and equip it and see how it looks like. Now, the difference between the two, the Bronto and the Parasa, is the Parasa is small and it can traverse many terrains more than what the Bronto can. 
and the Bronto, the big up with the Bronto and its um, beautiful platform is the giant poops and also the um, amount of structures you can build on it. So it is quite a large structure you can build on it. And this guy, unfortunately, you cannot do that. But the big up on this thing is the... Um, go ahead and put that in there. The big up with this guy is it's smaller and faster, actually. Way faster than a Bronto. Although you can only uh, fit a lot less items on the saddle, but it's a lot faster and I have a lot more stamina and actually it's a bit more powerful in my sense. Although the Bronto can do one swipe at everything, uh, for me the Paris uh, is, it's, it's way more faster, you know, it's way, way more faster. So let's go ahead and stop right here and let's see uh, what I was thinking, what I want to do is make this a, um, like a mobile forging facility. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Uh, let's do this. I know it's not going to be even or anything. like so and can we fit this guy in over here yes we can so we have a little uh, platform kind of thing uh, with a lot of I like the sound it makes like a bunch of forges and stuff so we can head into the mountains and that kind of stuff and traverse it and then we can like go ahead and make some metals and that kind of stuff which is pretty cool you know and then we have the little smithy over here which we can repair our items and we can also um go ahead and craft stuff in, in here immediately which is pretty cool so and this does not affect its speed at all it's turning radius is so much better than a bronto as you guys can see it standing at like one place i can keep on turning even with um a little bit of speed on my side you know, and it's it's just, this thing is actually quite amazing. It's ugly as hell. I gotta add, add that, you know, it's it's not it's not cute. Guys, if you think this is cute, I don't want to know what you're ugly. But I mean, this, this is pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. So, this is my kind of idea that I have. And um, if you guys have any suggestions or anything which we can do extra of it... Um, I don't know. This is kind of like the thing I have, my idea. I wanted to make the Bronto like a forging kind of thing, but for me, this this is uh, more than enough. You know, it's it's for me the Bronto is big, and the ballista on the back helps with the taming. And you're probably wondering, it's like, how is this helping with hate taming? Okay, so let's say for instance, if I take the monkey, all right, I'm gonna put it over here. Now, let's say, for instance, I've been taming a monkey and it's been lying over here, all right? So, it's here. Being knocked out and being fed berries and that kind of stuff. What I can do is, when it becomes nighttime, I can be on a Bronto. And I can look at the monkey, you know, see all of its beauty. And I'll also have, like, building supplies over here. And I can build a little wall around it because the building supplies are right over here. There's the narcotics and everything. Oh, so now they're going to knock out something. There's the berry bin and there's the meat bin. Here's a fire, standing torches. Um, if I die somewhere close, I can always respawn here. There's always weapons and stuff in here, you know. This is what the idea was of a taming facility. And I can always make extra narcotics for the mortar and pestle. And I said there's a big dinosaur in the area. I mean, I have a ballista. What more can you ask for? But for the um, Parasur, it's just a mobile forging, forge processing kind of thing, if you know what I mean. So, this will be kind of like what I'm going to use in the future. But the problem is Alpha T-Rex, Alpha Raptors and that kind of stuff. Which is going to be a problem because, I mean, this guy has 5,000 health, alright? 
But if we look at um, Butcher over here, it's got 2800, but 800% melee damage. This means that these two can... I mean, I can kill it. I can kill the Paraser very, very quickly. So, I'm just putting out there that a Alpha anything would be able to take this down. So, I can take a um, Butcher with me and Secret Agent as well. But that does not guarantee me that I am going to, you know, survive an encounter with an Alpha. Except for if it's a very low level. Because this is level 51, level 139, and over here is level 72. So, it must be at least a level 30, 40 before I can even do anything to it. So... Yeah, and uh, guys, uh, this is going to be it for today's episode. I'm sorry we did not do much. Um, I was really waiting for the episode, or not the episode, the update for, you know, the snow bombs and that kind of stuff. But that did not happen, and I think the developers must really pay a bit close more attention to, like, the um, things they put down. Like, the news and that kind of stuff, when they're going to launch stuff and all that. Um... But I'm not going to complain. I'm happy about all of the things they have launched so far. So, to bring the episode to a close, I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. You guys are really, really awesome. And um, remember to hit that like button. If you guys do enjoy the episodes and stuff, make sure you show your support by hitting the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.